intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey Star Trek Fleet Command fans, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about something that I get asked about a lot. And whether you're a lower level player or a higher level player, all of this is going to be important to you because it has to deal with factions and when should you start working on your faction rep above the 10 million Lock. So I guess to begin this, we should really discuss what I just mentioned, which is that there are locks in the game. As a reminder, hey, Commander Riker, help us out. Bam, there he is. There are three faction locks in the game that you cannot go lower than once you pass them for Federation, Klingon, and Romulan. 10 million is the first one, 1 billion is the next, and then 15 billion is the final. So those really, really up there high level players. You will not go below that. So you see my Federation is locked at 10 million. Now, if you remember, I hunt Federation every time y'all watch a stream or a video, I'm hunting Federation hostiles. That's okay, because I've locked it at 10 million. It will not go below, so I'll stay positive in that rep. And I've got all three of my factions positive. You actually click the little faction button at the top right of your screen. You'll see that my Klingon is almost celebrated, and I've kept it under for this video to talk about the importance of that. And then you've got my Romulan, which is my highest at 156, heading to Glorified, and then of course, Rogue and Augment. Rogue, yes, behind, feel free to shame me in the comment section below. So let's talk about why all this is important and what it means to you as a strategy. Now, if you have questions about faction grinding and stuff, as always, encourage you to check out the Discord. It's something I've been getting a lot of questions about, and this is actually what inspired this video, is players asking on the Discord. And if you're a level 28 player, you need to know what's coming in the future. But if you're a level 39 player, maybe you've been listening to my advice for camping at 35 or 39, or maybe you're just looking to see what's the best strategy for you, that's why we're making this video about rep grinding. And there are a couple of resources I wanna show you real quick to kind of help with that decision. So for example, this is one from the Kelvin Memorial Archive, showing you the various levels of rep throughout the game. You know, going from one to you know, 15 billion, everything in the different ranks for that. I also wanna show you this one that I really like, because we're focusing mostly on going to 1 billion, the next lock for a lot of players and when to do that. So this is from uh, NCC 1887, who has a blog spot. He made this graphic, so shout out to that, but showing you the various requirements for when we go up in level. And this is important because if you're thinking about going, let's say you're level 39 and you've got dual faction lock or tri-faction lock at 10 million. When should you start working on that next tier? Well, this is gonna really help make that decision for you because once you hit 30 million, remember that Klingon one, switch it back there. See my Klingon almost at 30 million, here's what's going to change. This graphic helps you. At 30 million, you're gonna to have to start mining four star materials instead of three star. You're also gonna to have to start going through more difficult hostiles. You see at the 30 million mark here, at 10 million, it's not that bad hitting 39s, but once you hit 30 million, those go up to 41s. Obviously that is very difficult to do if you are not in deep space. Now, for those that do not remember, deep space is access to the main mission tree at level 38. So you have to level 38 to even enter into that area, not counting actually beating any of those hostiles. So bear that in mind. So you're gonna to switch to higher level hostile hitting as well as four star mining at 30 million rep, which is celebrated. So that's gonna be part of your decision-making process. When are you ready to do that? Now, a couple things can help with that. So if we back out this real quick and hit our system button, if you come down here to territory, and I guess let me go ahead and um, pop off that graphic, you'll see that there are four-star areas here that you can mine from. For example, my Alliance IA on server 20 has got Corva Alpha giving me the ability to mine four-star ore. Or if I come over here, you've got Aegis who has Tholus Alpha four star crystal, or if we go up, 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 and we'll find Makala Alpha, four star gas. The three star sets in this game in territory give you the ability to mine four star materials, which will help with completing your dailies. But unless your alliance actually has two sets, it can be very, very difficult to get both of what you're looking for. So remember at level 38, you can access deep space and warp 60 is where you can kind of get those early independent systems and everything. But for many players, it's gonna be difficult to get out there. Now, I'm gonna swap ships real quick because I wanna pick something that doesn't have warp range so y'all can kind of see what I'm talking about because if you have warp range, it won't show you the requirements. But if you look in Federation space, this is one of your first, ability, or the first system in Fed space to allow you to mine gas, and that is Gosting, but you need warp 65 to get there. 
Now you can get that with an Enterprise, a Franklin A, or you know, not a Horizon, but a Meridian, an ISS Jellyfish. Now there's a lot of ships that can get you here, but you've got to be able to prepare for that. So you're going to be probably an upper 30s player. So if you hit 30 million rep at level 33, well, you're really unable to start you know, completing a lot of the things the game requires. And when you're not completing your dailies, you're putting yourself in a hole in a bad way. You want to be able to complete the dailies to get your photon tokens, to get your shields every day, and then also just to get the materials that you're hoping to get when you're progressing through the game. So if that makes sense, good, because it's logical. I love logic. So warp range is going to be an issue when you're making that decision. But there's more that goes into it than just the actual rep locks. There's also time in this. So I talk to players and they're like, hey, should I single faction grind or dual faction grind? Well, I haven't made a video on this yet, but your next camping spot after level 39, in my opinion, and I might work with DJ again like we did for our 39. I thought we had great a response from that. In fact, I'm curious what you saw. If you watch my camping at level 39 video where myself and Ultimate DJ gave you a set of requirements before we recommend going up, and that video is still accurate, let me know in the comments section below. Did you follow that video and are you looking for another one of similar? Because I probably want to pair with DJ because my next camping spot after 39 is 42 slash 43. That is a pretty big jump and you can even argue maybe soft camping it, but the truth is Level 40 and level 41 provide basically nothing in the game. Level 42 gives you the uncommon ships. It gives you greater warp range through missions, as well as several other things in the research tree, allowing you to become a better, stronger player. Definitely a big recommend for me. And also just to make a quick note, and we'll talk about this maybe, we'll briefly mention it. I'll talk about this in, a, in another video, but I do not recommend getting the miners at once you hit level 40 because of cost. And if you look here on the screen, I'm going to mention it here. This is the raw cost just to get a Vorta Vorta tier 5, 27,000 uncommon ore. You're going to need literally that amount just to get from level 41 to level 42 to pay for your ops building. So I, these don't really give you much. And that Vorta Vor at tier 5, warp range is 115. That's not really giving you a massive jump. And that's the only thing that really helps it. The cargo bay... At tier five is basically what your maxed and Terry's or Valkyries is going to be. So no real huge advantage there. So I'm not a huge fan of unlocking them. So when we're talking about as we're leveling up, you know, I would get the four star miners in the 45, 46, maybe 44 level range. But anyway, getting distracted as I often do. Rabbit trails are fun, especially if you're on the Twitch. We, we, we have a lot of rabbit trails on Twitch. So back to my initial comment when it comes to time, it's really when you're say at your camping spot, how quickly are you going to make it to level 46? Here's why level 46 is important because by level 46, you want to have a one bill faction lock. Why do you want to have a one bill faction lock? A very important question. So glad that all of you are intelligent enough to answer it. All right, here's that one bill faction lock. The reason being is that's where you're going to start working on your main ship. You're going to get to glorified, glorified, and you're going to start wanting to have a pylum. So you can get glorified here at 440, but you really want to hit that lock at 1 billion, which is twice as much, but trust me on it, you're going to want to hit 1 billion. Why am I going to want to hit 1 billion? Because of the lock. The, at the end of the day, the best course in the game for the most speed ups, the most faction credits, the most you know uh, overall resources that you can earn, like the mining dailies that give you more materials for what you're mining, Faction locks are the best way to sit. Now, back to the original question. When should I be pushing for these? Well, how fast are you going to reach level 46? If you're going to reach level 46 in six months or less, and this is something that you can calculate, I recommend single faction grinding your rep. Single faction grinding. If you're going to reach that in over that, let's say it's going to take you a year to get to 46. Dual faction grinding to keep the balance. Now you'll notice Rev, hey Rev, why did you not follow this own strategy? Here's why Rev didn't follow the strategy. Because Rev really wanted a 42 uncommon ship. So I wanted to get one faction as quickly as I could so I could get my Valdor. I just, I wanted a ship to play with. I wanted something new. I didn't want to sit with the same ISS Jelly, USS Enterprise, Augur, and that be it. I wanted some more depth to my gameplay. So I wanted another ship. And that meant that I went to Commended, which is 140, so I could get the Valdor. And the Katinga, 
which I will get when my Klingon hits 140. See, right here. Sorry, right there. Right. See, Commander, bam. I will get a Katinga, and I'll, I'm trying to dual faction lock. So right now I'm focusing on catching up my Klingon. I'm only doing Klingon dailies and my Klingon event. And now through faction grinding, my Romulan rep is not dropping below 140. In fact, it's still growing because it's so large already. Now that's a decision that I made personally, but I also camped at 39 and then I flew to 42. I mean, if y'all remember, I was basically in January, level 40, in February, level 42, and that's how quickly I progressed. But I camped for that. So I jumped from 39 to 42 very, very quickly. I didn't want to sit at level 41 and have basically nothing new for six months. And that was my camping strategy. I still recommend dual faction grinding because it's going to be a long time, some 46. Once I get my Klingon caught up, I'm just going to bring them both to 1 billion. And by the time I've done that, I will reach glorified with both of these factions, thus allowing me to get both the ships, the Pylum and the Coronar. But that's my strategy. And I'm curious your strategy in the comment section below. Feel free to drop it. There's a little pop up because this is not the answer for everybody. But all the things that we've talked about in this video are things that you need to be mindful of when you're making this decision for yourself. Are you ready to grind out four star materials in mining and hit higher level hostiles? Do you have access to even do that? Can you afford the relocation tokens to constantly jump from deep space to uh, shallow space? Do you have your maxed out discovery to help with summoning on any of this? Have you done your research for summoning in terms of warp range? What all have you completed to make this viable for you and your account? Dual faction grinding is still very much doable, but it's all about the speed in your gameplay. You could very much go, hey, I'm ready to go to 42, but I want to ship now. I don't want to wait. And you just go single faction all the way to commended like Rep did. But there are definitely advantages to pulling a dual faction method. Now, dual faction can be tough when you're powering through with those 2000 hostiles a day that you can hit. They did raise that limit up from 1500 to 2000 because obviously you get a two to one ratio on Rep. Two to one being you get two points for the main faction, one for the secondary. If you hit a, say, Klingon, then you're going to get two for one there. If I'm hitting... Federation, I'm getting two Romulan points to every one Klingon point, so it can be difficult to have that balance, and I just wanted to fly to 140. But anyway, there's the answer to that question. We'll have a video about camping at 42, 43 here pretty soon. I'm definitely curious to hear your thoughts. As always, like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Live long and prosper. Stay safe with the Space Cowboys. Deuces, that's me. Echo should be finished by the next video, hopefully. And uh, yeah, let me know what you want to see. All you got to do is jump into my Discord. Myself and every content creator for this game can see the channel. If you want to see a video made, we will love to help you out. We're here for the players. And we really appreciate y'all watching our content. Deuces, see you on the next one. Audi. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.